Ruben Chelal lights fire to warm his house following the heavy rains that have been pounding his village. The 75-year-old man stays alone in Bondeni, Wasingishu County. Shita yangu ni nyumba kuweka mtoke, tandikiwa na chekula ya kukula. This parcel of land was bought for him by his former employer after retiring as a herdsman. Sina uweso lote ya ngufu ya kufanya kasi ya kutosheka. Chekula baka mina yendanga tu na kupewa mgina na chotia kama kurukuru. His plight caught the attention of some residents from a church in the neighborhood and they came to show compassion. Much as we are having the pandemic, the corona pandemic, as a problem now in Kenya and many other places of the world, there are such people who really need us. They quite need us. We should not forget them. We should actually help them. Uh, the administration of this place, I don't know how much you are doing for these people. Other people in our country, there are many people who are really suffering. And in Mwanzo, Shauriako, Mailinne, Kamukunji and Baharini estates also in Wasingishu, many elderly people are facing the same challenges of neglect by society and authorities. Unapata watu wengine ambao wako katika hali mbaya sana na naomba yoyote yula ambaye alikona ako na uwezo na na upendo pia wakaweze kuja ama waende sehemu zingine zile za Kenya watu wameathirika kabisa hawana chakula hawana wengine ni wagonjwa i mean hali ni sio nzuri vile e, hali sio nzuri naposema wagonjwa sio kwa sababu ya corona lakini kwa sababu hawana pesa hata ya, 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 ya matibabu peke yake corona imeharibu kila kazi hata kijana yangu ni mkubwa hana kazi msichana ndio huyu some well wishers have embarked on a campaign to sensitize the needy about measures to curb the spread of coronavirus. They move door to door supporting the elderly with food as well as providing them with face masks. Calvin Chitwa, TV47, was in Gishu County. And well, that story brings us to a short break.